Hello, Central Illinois. The Peoria sectional title is a heavyweight battle. The Big 12 champion, Peoria High, taking on the middle Illini champion, Washington. It would be a defensive duel between the two. Off a of steal here, it's going to be Claire McDougal. The pretty pass to Addie Kimmler for a Washington bucket, but watch... Peoria High comes back behind their two standouts, senior Denali Craig Edwards for three. Then watch Aaliyah Guyton, the beautiful dish. Wow. To Alana Jackson, beautiful highlight right there. But Carly Vaughn's going to hit one from deep. And Washington's up by three at halftime. Second half, Michi Edwards, Lions quickly take the lead, although never by much. Neisha Rutherford right here from the corner for a big three right here. Fourth quarter with about four minutes to go. Claire McDougal's going to find her sister, Becca McDougal, the Beautiful pass ahead of the reverse layup. Washington's up by one, but that's when Aaliyah Guyton takes over. Watch Guyton shake, bake, and dish. Beautiful pass to Denali Craig Edwards for the go-ahead hoop. Next time down the court, Guyton's going to get the ridiculous bucket to fall. That put Peoria High up by three. They made their free throws and win it. 35-29, Peoria High, your sectional champ. Uh, this is what we always dreamed of when I came in as a freshman, so to finally be able to do it is great. This is unbelievable to do it with this, this team and, and your daughter. Uh, this is unbelievable. She came here as a freshman, wasn't able to get it done. At this moment now, she finally got it done on her way out. But we still have more work to do. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. At this point, it don't matter how it gets done, as long as it gets done. It's just like my dad said, you know, a win is a win. When I came in, Washington was, wasn't was at the top of the conference. So, I mean, it makes me feel good knowing that I'm leaving the program better off than what it came from me along with all the other seniors it just it just hurts to end it like this Peoria High will play Chicago Heights Marion in the Pontiac Super Sectional. In Class 4, yeah, a great start for normal community at O'Fallon. Ellie Ince right here is going to flash and catch the ball and score in the lane. Later, Gianna Rollins will hit a three. Normal community had a 14-7 lead, but O'Fallon wore him out and won the game 60-42. A great year for normal community comes to an end. To Class 2A hoops and two Heart of Illinois Conference rivals collide in the Rock Ridge Sectional. It's DMAC looking for the first ever sectional title against Eureka. Eureka gets the ball. Ellie Cahill to Reagan Linder for three, but back comes DMAC. Mackenzie Knowles to Lexi Cottingham. Cottingham was absolutely terrific. Three-point play right here. Then Dahlia DeJesus goes from the three-point line to the middle of the lane for a sweet floater right here. DMAC up by seven and a half. Second half, it's DeJesus with the bucket right here off the assist, Maddie Swaninski. But under two to go, Ella Osmus to Sophia Musselman. Eureka's down just two, but DMAC gets the win. Swaninski here to Lexi Cottingham for the three-point play. DMAC for the first time ever, a sectional champ. I'm just so proud of these girls. They did everything that we asked of them. They did, never said die. Um, they just gave it all that they had. So proud. You know, it's also surreal, and I still, like, I'm shaking, and I can't even believe it right now. I'm just really lucky I get to be part of this team. DMAC hasn't been on a run in a long time, so it's great to be able to share this with my team and my community, and it makes it so much more special. DMAC will play Quincy Notre Dame in the Macomb Super Sectional. What a night for the Knights of Fieldcrest. In triple overtime, Fieldcrest wins a sectional championship to make it back-to-back. -back. Carolyn McGow had 20, Caitlin White 14, Haley Carver 14, Ashlyn May 13, and freshman Macy Gokenhauer hit two free throws to force an overtime. Fieldcrest will play Chicago Butler Monday for a back-to-back -back trip to the state finals. The Havana Ducks are 1A sectional champs. One week ago, the Ducks beat state-ranked Menden Unity to win a regional. Tonight, the Ducks eliminate state-ranked Brown County to win a sectional. The tough competition continues with a Monday super sectional matchup, Havana against Oakville. All right, to big.